All right, good, good morning. And well, I want to finish up. This would be part four, Jack? Part four. Part four of our story. And like I said, m most of what we'll do will be five minutes or less. Um, uh, but but just, to, just to kind of close out um, m my story, um, you know, we, we've really talked about two of the three things that, that were turning points for me. The first was uh, when I got sober June 4th of 2004. And the second one was um, getting off any type of medication and, and kicking a tram the tramadol addiction, um, which, you know, I really stepped on a rake on that one. I mean, I thought that, you know, in hindsight, maybe it was naive, but um, I really got caught on that one. And, um, and that was a bitch. Um, but, you know, I could go through like the horrors of the physical withdrawals and what that means. Um, I can go through the horrors of the mental withdrawals and the dark places you go and the hell you walk through. Most people watching this stuff that are getting ready or going through some of this stuff, um, <laughs> to say it's not well documented through YouTube and through personal experience, um, you know, let, let's just leave it at this. Uh, if, if, for me, you know, we talk about higher power in God. If you didn't believe in God before you walked through this freaking hell of withdrawal, um, you believe in him now if you're out on the other side <laughs> because you realize that there was no way, none, that you were coming out the other side without something bigger than yourself carrying you through at times because sometimes you just, you, you, you can't go on. You, you can't make it. Um, the, the, the pain <laughs> is so, so excruciating. I, I'll tell you what I learned through um, both of these turning points was how strong I am. You know, I never gave myself credit for, for how strong I was. Um, nothing phases me. Nothing phases me anymore. Um, I can deal with just about anything. Just about. <laughs> um, anything uh, based on this shit. And, and, and that's the blessing. You know, I look for a blessing to every solution, not problem, and that's the blessing. The third, you know, turning point was when I started to get better. When I started to feel better. Um, when I first remember it, it was Eric and I were down with Ethan down in Ocean City, and um, I run on the boardwalk every morning um, when I'm when I'm at the shore, and um, and I was running one morning on the boardwalk this July, and I caught a window. You know, we call it windows and waves. Waves was when you're getting the stuff kicked out of you, um, you know, where you're just in a bad spot mentally. Um, and, and windows are when you see like the other side and as you get better, the windows get longer, um, and you notice things, um, and you feel a peace and a joy. And I got my first one down there. And as I ran the boardwalk that day, I'll never forget that feeling, um, uh, for the first time in 50 plus years. I was free. I was free. And it didn't last. It didn't last. <laughs> a couple days, but you get a taste of it and um and you know you're on to something. And um and I started believing. And that's where you go to the next level is you start to believe. There's something bigger than yourself out there. I, again, not speaking for anybody else, for me, there's something bigger than me in the universe. You know, higher power is what it's called in the room. It could, your higher power could be anything. Energy, the universe, a God. For me, it's God. You know, it, it, my higher power is a God. And he carried me through all this stuff. And, um, and he's been thumping on me to get my message out there. Uh, and I know that. And, um, and I think of Ryan Donnelly a lot. When I, when I do this kind of stuff, because, um, a lot of people, um, uh, inspired me and, um, and we got a lot of cool, cool stuff coming up, but, but the third turning point is belief. You start to believe that anything's possible and your brain starts to change course. I didn't believe in neuroplasticity when all this started. I do now. I used to think the brain was fixed, it was plastic, and whatever happened to you at whatever point in your life, going back to whenever it was, child, trauma, unresolved, whatever, shame, guilt, 
that that's how your brain was formed at that age when you were young and you just rode with it and you did the best you could. Um, I know now for a fact that your brain can change. You know, if your brain is taking you from Philly to Miami on I-95 and that's an unhealthy pathway and that's where you have all this doubt and, and anxiety and looping thoughts of bad things and repressed your, or memories of, 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 you know, trauma, you can take another, you can make an I-90 or an I-85 and take that way down to Florida with your change in thought, thinking, um, being present, you know, all the Eckhart Tolle stuff I like to rave about. You literally staying in present moment and working these tools that we're going to talk about in the next few videos, you literally, 95, the concrete starts to break apart, the, the weeds start to grow, and it becomes undrivable, and then it goes away. And the new way of Philly to Miami, you know, I-85 now instead of 95, is the healthy thought process. And your brain's changed. And you can do it. <laughs> I'm living proof. So, you know, what I'll tell you is, is you're this close. Um, uh, uh, you know, we're going to do some cool stuff. And, um, and you know, I, 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 I'm, I hope you get people to, to take a look at this channel. I hope it, it becomes helpful for you. I hope it becomes a resource. I hope it becomes a resource for people, you know, like I said, that are my senior, uh, my junior, uh, and kids. And, and um, you know, off we go. But, you know, that's, that's my story. Um, uh, I'm, I'm proud of it. Um, it's a blessing. And um, my relationships with people are amazing. Um, I tell people how I feel, what I'm thinking. I feel everything. Um, I love my life and it's getting better. What I can't imagine is when, it, when I get to that 10, when I get to that full bursting window, um, how great it's going to be. And you know, what I'll say is if you're not there, like, but you want to get there, um, go to that third turning point, believe. Like, you know, at some point you just have to take a leap of faith. You have to be like, I'm X years old. Um, I, I, I don't feel fulfilled. I, I don't feel like I've, I'm, I've, I've done what I've been put here on this earth for. Eternity's a long time. You know, you're not here for a long time. <laughs> Um, there's nothing to be afraid of, you know? I think the biggest form of arrogance and ego is not doing stuff because you're afraid. Afraid you might fail, afraid of what people will think of you, afraid of people talking about you. Just, you know, it, again, it, don't even think of it as fear. Think of it as arrogance and ego. Ask for help. The hardest thing in the world for me to do is ask for help. God, was it hard. Because the way, the way we're, we're trained in our head is that if we ask for help, it's weakness. And it's actually the opposite. When we act for, ask for help and get vulnerable, we're strong. God, I had it so backward for so long. So, you know, I'll be here for you. And um, I hope everybody uh, reaches their wildest dreams. And, uh, you know, whether it's changing career, whether it's, it's doing what you want to do, whether it's you know, finding joy, happiness, inner peace. I mean, it's all right there. We're that close. Just the fact that you're watching somebody talk about it, you know, I would hope thinks you're, you're, you're interested and you want to take action. I wasn't ready to do this this morning. Yesterday when we started with the white shirt ones, I wasn't ready for that. I was told not to wear a white shirt today but because um, of the glare. But, you know, I wasn't ready for that. Not ready for any of it. But I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And it feels, feels great. It feels great. All right. Talk to everybody. Next two. Um, you know, we'll get back to some of the other stuff, but there's two things that are important to me that I want to cover. That's forgiveness. And that really is forgiveness of yourself. And boundaries. I really screwed myself up with lacking boundaries. So the next two will be forgiveness and boundaries, and then we'll get back to some of the more, uh, you know, dealing with some of the more uh, uh, 
appropriate topics in terms of you know the five things the channel is based on, which is anxiety, depression, alcoholism, addiction, and then recovery slash joy, happiness, and relief. And uh, getting there. All right. See ya.